These are the parts included with your WaterBlock WB13R automatic shutoff system. First, take the WaterBlock valve and set the number of gallons desired using the included white plastic key as shown. The numbers 1 through 10 are located on the inside rim of the exit end of the valve. Next, attach the reset module to the exit end of the water block valve and hand tight. These are garden hose fittings that seal using a washer. Attach the brass vented ball valve into the inlet end of the water block valve and hand tight. Now, connect the brass female adapter to the exit end of the reset module and again hand tight. It is now fully assembled and ready to install into your application. This is a brief demonstration on how the water block valve works. Here we have a two gallon jar and we have preset the water block at about 1.5 gallons. We turn on the water through the water block and begin to fill the jar. Before it reaches the top of the jar, the water block is set to turn off the water and avoid an overflow. You can set the number of gallons based on your specific application. Set it to a point that is higher than the expected usage for the device you are feeding. That way, normal operation will be unaffected and if it goes above normal, the water block will shut off before much damage can occur. As you can see, the water block turned off the water at the preset level. To reset the water block valve after it is closed, you must first turn off the water supply. Open the relief cap on the valve as shown and press the red reset button all the way to reset the water block valve. Close the relief cap, turn the water back on and you're all set.